Hello everybody, welcome to part four of our Google Sites eBinder series. Previously, we've talked about our overview of how to do the entire eBinder workflow. Then we talked about how can we create a shareable folder so that our templates can be shared to our students. And then part three, we talked about the different types of templates you could possibly make. In this part four, we want to talk about how you're going to hand out your templates to your students in Google Classroom. So all we need to do is make sure that we have our um, initial eBinder folder already created. So right here, I have a folder called Class eBinder Templates. This is the folder we want to share with our students. Next, you want to make sure that you have this exact text here that um, we have here on our eBinder page at bit.ly.com slash eBinders. And all you need to do is copy this text. So we're going to copy this text right here. And we're going to go into our Google Classroom right here. And I created a, uh, a topic called eBinder materials because this is where you want to put all those materials for your eBinder in an easy to find location for your students. I'm going to create an assignment called E binder templates. Just template. And I'm going to paste those instructions right here. And it says, please read the instructions below on how to make a copy of the E binder attached below or above. And it says, number one, open the eBinder template on the folder attached. Once in the template, create a copy by right-clicking on the eBinder template, selecting make a copy, and then closing the folder. And then finally, once it is in that folder, they're going to name it with their name on that eBinder. So let's go back and grab our folder link right here. And notice it's anyone with the link can view. That's exactly what we want. And now in the Google Classroom, we are going to add the link to this folder. And we are not going to make it worth any points. And I'm just going to, at the very end of this, I'm going to say, once you have followed the directions below, mark this as complete because we want to make sure we know if the student has followed the entire directions and so now we're going to go oh and we want to make sure this goes underneath our eBinder materials now i'm going to hit assign and there we go it is pushed out so as a student all you would need to do let me go to fake student right here we're going to jump into our Google Classroom. Here's our classwork. And our student sees the eBinder template. They read the directions. It says go into this folder. They're going to click on this folder. And notice, if they right click, there is no option to delete. That's exactly what we wanted. So we're going to right click, make a copy. So this is exactly what your students are going to do. And because they don't have editing rights to this folder, it will not make the copy in this folder. It will place it into their actual Google Drive. There we go. So that copy is made. Now, we have tried pushing out an eBinder um, as a material, or and which works just as fine as well, but then you don't get the... Um, the, the students to be able to mark this as complete to see who has done it. And then we also tried to actually distribute the eBinder like a Google Doc or a Google Slide um, where it just makes a copy for the student and that doesn't work. This is the only way we have found to allow the students to make those copies without you having to make copies individually. So that is now going to be right there. And, the, and depending on how big your template is, the, uh, the copying uh, by the student, it may take about a minute um, or more. And if you have all of your students, all 40 of them doing this at a time, it might take a little bit longer and there might be a few errors. Just have them keep trying to do it again. So now that we do have our eBinder, here it is. The students will open it up 
And because um, we didn't push it out like a Google Doc or Google Slide, there are a few things we need to do. Number one is we want to make sure the name of the student is up here at the top. So fake student one eBinder. And for you, it could just be the last name of your student or you can have them put the period any way that you want. This is just titling the file of the eBinder. It's not titling the name um, of, of the actual um, eBinder itself. And then also make sure the student goes to the top right up here and invites you as an editor. So make sure you have your name up at the top. You can even put this in the instructions with the exact email that you want them to share it to because sometimes um, the email that you have is a long one, um, you know, like um, like Central Unified School District dot K12 dot CA dot U. It could be a long one. So just make sure you have that easy accessible for them. Now that is there. This is there. So um, if you want to check the editing portion of their eBinder, um, you can go in and see it. And the reason is because whenever they make a change to this eBinder, they have to hit publish. Um, if they don't, then you wouldn't see it on the published page. And so even if they did a whole bunch of work, if they don't hit publish and the only access you have is to their published site, um, you wouldn't see those changes made. So I make sure they give me access as an editor just in case so I can go in and make those checks. And so now that the student has it, they renamed this binder. I always tell them to make a copy of this or actually, sorry, make a bookmark of this and they call it my eBinder. And we put it on the bookmark bar so it's easy to find just for them. Um, and if they want to be fun, you know, if they want to go in here and, and add some things, um, they can add a favicon, which will change this icon for the, them right up here. Just a couple other things. So, but at least they have the entire copy of your of your eBinder. So that is the way that you push out an eBinder via Google Classroom using the eBinder template hack um, and utilizing Google Classroom. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great day.